Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, all right, so it is Monday evening. I have been reading your comments on my Monday plan with me and I am obliging to the masses. I am doing my washi purge or overhaul. I don't know what I'm even gonna call this video, but I wanted to show you the chaos of my washi life. So here's how I've been storing my washi. These are, they're called art bins. Um, I got these from Joann's a long time ago, like maybe two and a half, three years ago. Oh gross, there's a there's an Emily hair on that. I tried to kind of color code them in order and like style, you know, it just hasn't been working. But in the interim, I have like all these other ones that are just randomly here that I have no spot for and I need to go through. Let's see, are there any more? Yeah, there's a couple more full rolls. Here they are. Um, I also have like some rings of washi. I have tons of these. I'll go through those in just a second. Probably the worst thing that I have is this. Do you see this? Yeah, I have like random things. I've got a letter that one of you guys sent me in here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got tons of just washi samples. Brand new washi I haven't used yet. I will use that by the way. Um, full rolls in here and then I've got just like random stuff. So I think my best course of action is to pull all the full rolls and then really just clean house of what I want, what I don't want, and then I'll get into the actual like washi samples in a little while because this video is going to be epically long. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna pull the full rolls and then um, make some piles. So I will speed up this footage because this is gonna be hella boring. So I'll see you guys in a minute. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make four piles. A keep pile, which means I wanna keep the entire roll of washi. Another pile that's a sample pile, which means that I need to make a sample for myself. I do have some of these. These are just some plastic bobbins. I will put an Amazon link below if you guys are interested to know where exactly I got them. Um, they're pretty inexpensive and I buy a whole bunch at a time, as well as um, I give away samples of washi all the time to like other planner friends and whatnot. I also wanna make a maybe pile, which means maybe I want a sample. And then I also wanna make a pile that's this just needs to leave. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I have no rhyme or reason for this, but I am just going to part the seas here, make it a clean slate for you guys, and then I will start just making piles. And I will speed up this footage, because like I said, this is gonna be insanely long. All right, cue the music. <laughs> So, the camera angle is kind of funny, but these are all the ones that are maybes. These are pretty much, besides this gold one, um, just solids. I got these on Amazon a long, long time ago, and now the more I look at them, the more I think I don't really want even a sample of any of these because, I don't know, I just, I just don't, you know? like. I've had them for so long, I'm kind of over it. So I'm gonna put this all in the bye-bye pile, which is kind of off camera here, right over here. So I'm gonna put those off camera. And then these ones are all bye-byes. So we've got some of these. Some are duplicates, you guys. So yeah, I've got all of these that are going. And um, I know I'm gonna get a bunch of questions on where these are going. I actually have a planner meetup coming up this weekend, so I'm hoping that I can just get rid of them there. 
So, but yeah, these are all the ones that either I already have samples of or I just don't want any longer. So those are all off camera. So <laughs> this big section right here in the middle, like these two columns are all ones that I have to make samples of for myself. All the ones over here are all ones that I want to keep the full roll of. So these are actually the easy ones for me. And I'm gonna put all of these back into a box and then I'll get started on this thing right here. So this is gonna be a serious undertaking that I don't think I'm going to film because that would just take up my entire memory card. So let me put all of these into a container so you guys can see kind of the method to my mayhem and then um, we will go from there. So let's get these out of the way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah! All right, I'm gonna put all my super skinny ones in this little section here. All right, here's all my rainbow looking ones. And I think after this, I'll put all my like multicolored washies because why not? <laughs> I did keep some seasonal ones. I don't know. I just because I, I liked them. I know it's kind of off camera, but I'll show you guys in a second. All right, so this is the final pared down of all of the full washi rolls that I am keeping. Basically, it's a lot of really plain things because these are the ones I tend to reach for or they're very seasonal and I tend to reach for these every single season. So I did keep, um, my, some of my NASCAR washi, so my road washi, my checkered flag. I also have these other checkered flags. I've got these two, they're like film strips. These are just some basic black and whites, some silver, gold, a couple basic golds. Um, I really like these two. They're like kind of more of a harvesty gold color. Um, so yeah, some more golds and oranges you know, just some more basics. And then here gets into like my striped washi that's s solid. And then over here is basically all of my multicolored things that aren't seasonal. There's a couple of extras over here on the end just because I couldn't fit them um, up here. These are all my super skinny washies over here, um, which I love. They're mostly all glitters, not all of them, but most of them are. And then here starts my seasonal stuff. So I just really like these, so I'm not going to get rid of any of them, and I tend to reach for them every single season, so maybe at some point I will. Um, I've got a lot of patriotic um, stuff in here. This roll I actually just got. It was from Tapeworks. And I really like that. And then I've got, you know, some other kind of more patriotic looking things. This is like a Halloween washi that I tend to gravitate towards every single year. And then I've just got some extra like blue grays over here. So I really have this whole thing open as well as this whole bin all the way open too to organize all of my washi samples. So I think this is gonna be it for this video because this video has already gone on a little bit too long with like my actual camera data. So I'm gonna end it here but I think what I'm gonna do right after this is I'm going to turn the camera off make a bunch of washi samples for myself and then I'll show you how I organize the washi samples in this other container in another video if you guys are so inclined so yeah, that is gonna be it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will link these art bins if I can find them down below, as well as these little washi sample bobbins that I get from Amazon. I'll link those below as well. And if you have any other questions, feel free to post them down below again. Again, I am gonna be gifting all of my washi to some local friends here in Minnesota, so those will not be available for a giveaway. I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about that, but no, they won't be available for a giveaway. I am going to get rid of them this weekend. So I'm gonna jet. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a little part of your day. It means so much that you guys wanna see my content every single week, so we really, really appreciate it. If you guys do like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up lets me know that you like these kind of de-stashing and organizational videos and I'm getting ready to move into my new home in a couple of weeks here so um, this is part of my cleansing of all of the things so I'm very very happy that this task is now accomplished feel free to hit the subscribe button if you would like I will be posting every Monday Wednesday and Friday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time and I will have lots and lots of content coming up that is going to be house related 
related, so if you guys are really interested in that stuff, stay tuned, but that's not happening until June, just FYI. So anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little part of your day, and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys.